Hi guys, it's Mary. Welcome back. Today we're going to be doing this blue eye that you see right here. And before we get going here, I want to take the opportunity to tell you guys I am so sorry that I scared you with the video Friday where I was saying that I was going to have to give up my channel. That wasn't the intention of telling you that. Um, I wanted Mel to have the credit for the pillow system. It didn't come out exactly the right way. I was not wanting to try and scare you guys into thinking, oh my gosh, she's giving up her channel and quitting so much as I wanted you to understand what this system means to me and give Mel credit. So I am sorry. I didn't mean to do that. I read enough of the comments yesterday to know that that was not something I should have probably shared in the video. And like always, I'm going to be running my mouth about I don't know. I just sit down in here and sometimes you gotta wonder. <laughs> okay, maybe all the time. But let's just get on with this. I have already primed my eyes uh, with the Lancome Efficerns Concealer. And I went over it with Drift. And the other shades that we're going to use today are San Diego, Dark Roast, Juggler, Below Zero, Blue mist. Okay. As usual, let me show you what we're looking at in case you want to go find shades that you have that will go along with this. I'll, I'll show you blue mist here in a second. This is San Diego, Dark Roast, Juggler, and Below Zero. Let me show you here. So, San Diego, Dark Roast, Juggler, below zero. And then this stunner right here is blue mist. Look at this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. Alrighty, and you might have guessed by looking at my shirt why I picked these shades. Uh -huh. Go get your glitzy fritzy essential eye set and these shades from Sydney Grace or something similar. If you guessed we're going to start with the E25, you would be right. And I'm just going to tap right here into San Diego. I mean, I, I kind of do the same thing over and over and over, just with different colors, right? <laughs> I'm going to take that high here on my brow bone. Right there it is. I'm just going to take that all the way up here. It is so bright outside, and with these lights on, I can't even see what I'm doing. <laughs> I mean, it's really bright, so on the monitor, I can't even kind of tell without my glasses and with all the brightness, if I'm even in focus or not. I did move the monitor right in front of me, though, thinking, hoping that if I'm not turning my head and looking away, maybe it will not have the camera go in, in and out of focus, but no, I think that's just a pipe dream. And I know it's easy to blame the candle. I blame the candle all the time, but it's actually not the candle. <laughs> I think it's just everything that's going on in the background <laughs> is why. Because I filmed without lighting the candle before thinking, well, maybe it is that candle pulling focus, but no, my camera just hates me. In addition to these shadows, I'm going to use these two eyeliner pencils too today, and I don't remember what they are. And the reason I'm mentioning that is because I'm going to do something I never do, and that is I'm going to line my upper lid first before I begin with the shadows. I'm actually going to take this Urban Decay pencil and line I'm like so with LSD. I'm also going to bring that liner in here. So I'm just putting it on both sides of my lashes. I'm going to start with below zero. Aha. Uh -huh. Then I'm going to start in the middle of my lid and pack it down.
Now you might say, Mary, why did you even put that liner down there? Well, believe it or not, it's hanging on to this shadow a little bit more. And I may have even, if this wasn't a Sydney Grace video look, I may have brought it all over my eyelid first, especially like white or black underneath an eyeshadow. You'll find that if you use like, say I was to start with NYX, uh, white, that jumbo pencil and milk and, and coat the inside of my lid and then take the black one and go on the outside of my lid and then pack shadow on top of it, it would, uh, it would do that gradient thing. And I used to do that all the time. I want to pause this right here so that you can see because I have not explained very well what it is I'm doing with that eyeliner. Can you see the more concentrated area of the color on top of the eyeliner. I think you can see it in this still. And it's helping to change just a tiny bit what color the blue is. I don't have very many blue Sydney Grace eyeshadows. And this one has a lot of purple undertones to it. So I wanted to change it just a little bit right here at the lash line. And I'm just taking my brush and pushing the leftover of this shadow. And as this thins out into my crease, you can see that this shadow has a purplish undertone, even though it is blue. It's definitely got some purple in it. All right, I cleaned that brush off, or you could get another one. And I'm going to tap, 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 tap that right in here. And I'm going to go ahead and start bringing it, not over the top of all of below zero, but on the inner corner. I want you to see blue in this eye look. Here come the blues. Here come the blues. You guys remember Flip Wilson? Here come the judge. Here come the judge. Ooh, this is shaping up into a nice icy winter look. I'm going to get my finger. Let's concentrate that right here so that there's no doubt in your mind that that's blue. Because where we've come up here and thinned it out, starting to look purple. And see, I don't know if you can tell or not, but that liner is really hanging on to that right at my lash line. Now I'm going to take my E46, and you're going to find out what blue mist will do. So I'm just swirling my brush into blue mist right there. Brighten that up. I'm not going to come down here yet. E36 into Dark Roast. I need to look for Sydney Grace's black because I really wanted to use black. But I don't think I have a Sydney Grace black. So this is a dark brown. I'm just circling round and round we go. On the outside of my eyelid with Dark Roast. You know what? Sydney Grace makes these unbelievable glitters, and I'm not going to do it. But what would be fantastic is like that bluish, I think they had a blue one, glitter, just popped right over the top of below zero on my lid. But that would be so pretty. I was going through my phone earlier and, uh, you know, seeing which pictures I can delete. And the reason I do that <laughs> isn't space. I'm always thinking, because I have a morbid way of thinking, what if something happened to me, like I died, and they're like going through my phone and my pictures, and they're wondering, what the heck is this picture for? <laughs> do you ever think about that? Like you might have some really stupid pictures on your phone that if you died and somebody looked through your phone, they'd be like, ooh. I'll like take pictures of things and there's movies and pictures on my phone that I know people will be like, okay, like this one. And um, that's a picture of the wheel. And the reason is so when I come back in here, I can zoom in and know what tire I need to buy. Like if you didn't know what FabFitFun was, wouldn't you wonder why is there a picture of this box on here? <laughs> there's pictures of the toilet on here because I want to show you something in a video. A lot of these are, I want to show you this in a video, okay? 
And so here they are. Okay, there's like clips from the show I was watching, trying to understand, you know, because I'm going to send this to my mom because I want to understand why they're talking about what they are in there, you know, because that happened when I was a kid and stuff. Anyway, I come across screenshots from some of you where I wanted to remember to bring that up in a video and then I never did the video and forgot. I better get moving. So there's like um, a comment on there from Cowgirl Cat and I think Terry said something, Terry Mason said something about it too or something and uh, Jackie Ollie maybe. We're talking about from the video where uh, I guess I was discussing the net with Sandra Bullock in it. Okay. I better get moving. Ten, this is Tent Adal. <laughs> Mixed with Lancome Absolute. <laughs> so I, I can take a little longer moving it around. But anyway. Uh, anyway, so what we were talking about was like the internet and computers and stuff in the 90s. Okay, and the sound of dial-up and stuff. And Cowgirl Cat made a comment about call wave. Do you guys remember call wave? I got to tell you, and I already told my dad, I'm going to tell them this story. I'm not going to say what he said <laughs> exactly, but I am going to tell you this story. In case you don't know, call wave, it was like a, um, a voicemail back in the early days of the internet. I'm pretty sure everybody watching this already knows that what dial-up was, okay? So, but for anyone who comes along here who's like my youngest son's age, dial-up was how we used to connect to the internet a long time ago. The phone line was how we used to access the internet. <laughs> so anyway, um, that created a problem whenever people were trying to call you on the telephone. The line would be busy because you're connected to the internet. And a lot of people would download their Windows updates, which happened every dang night. I've not missed Windows since I went to Mac. I don't even know how many years ago. In any case, you would tie up your computer and your phone if you had to get Windows updates. And they always took forever because one, they were huge. And two, it was a slow internet. I figured no one really ever calls me anyway, so, I'm just going to download my updates in the middle of the day while I'm cleaning house and then it'll be free for me to get on the computer at night, right? Logical thinking in my book, but my daddy didn't think so. Apparently there were a couple of times that he was trying to get a hold of me on the phone and what do you know, it's busy. Sorry, I got a phone call so I started doing my brows <laughs> off camera. Anyway, so uh, where were we? Oh, daddy. Daddy, right? So I guess this one day he's had it. He's just had enough of it. And he finally gets a hold of me. I pick up the phone. I say, hello. No, hi. How are you? It's dad. Nothing like that. <laughs> he just starts yelling in the phone and he says, I wish you had that internet shoved up your... <laughs> okay. And I'm like, what? What's the problem? Apparently he was trying one too many times to get a hold of me and <laughs> couldn't get through. And my dad has never been a very patient man. I guess that's where I get this having no patience with stuff thing. <laughs> I don't even remember how I heard about call wave. I don't know if somebody told me. It might have been my partner at the hospital. It might have been her that told me. You download this thing called Call Wave, and it will take voicemails when you are online with your phone, right? Do you guys remember that? So yes, Kat, I do remember that, and I had Call Wave as well. And I think that Terry agreed with it, um, and then I had a screenshot of a comment from Jackie, uh, which I am going to... Maybe read, maybe I'll put it, see if I can put it on the screen next to me so you can read it. I don't think she would have left it on there if she cared if people read it. So, but yes, exactly. We have become a, a world of what do we do 
without the computers and the internet now? How do you put that genie back in the bottle? And as I say that, don't put the genie back in the bottle because that would mean that you would be gone and, and we wouldn't be able to talk anymore <laughs> and stuff. But yes, it does. The internet has become a thing that is all consuming, you know, this storm that we have all gone through recently with, you know, all the people who've lost power and stuff like that. And I know that when we lose power around here, for a little bit, we all just kind of go, what do we do now? <laughs> right? Because your internet goes down when the power goes out. <laughs> Let's go get the Monopoly game and play Monopoly because the power is going to be out for a long time and we need something to do. You know, play cards, light some candles, interact with everyone else in the house. But, you know, I mean, or here even, we kind of look at each other like, well, now what? I guess let's just go take a nap. God forbid we should all talk to each other. <laughs> I want to talk to you briefly about this powder. I'm getting ready to put it on my face, but you're not going to see me go in here. It's a big mess because one, I've opened up too many holes. Okay, I went and opened them all up because I have no patience. <laughs> this is my dedicated brush for this powder. I don't know if you can tell by looking at it. It is full of this product. So what I do is I get this and I load this brush completely up with it, shake the brush off, and then I will bring it on my face. And I will use this brush all week. <laughs> That's how I do it. What do you guys do when the power goes out? Are you totally addicted to the internet and everything you do revolves around it in some way? How much of your day is spent on the internet? I really want to know. Via phone or computer? I watched this movie right before I came in here. It's new on Netflix. You know, I don't know why. They just keep sticking movies I didn't ask for in my cue. They think I'm going to like it. So they just stick it in there. And I went ahead and watched this movie, even though there were several times I wanted to turn it off because it's one of these movies that like the whole time you're going, yeah, right. Oh my gosh, no way. <laughs> but the plot of the movie is scary. It's about a woman who totally takes advantage of elderly people through the medical profession getting guardianship over them and taking all their stuff and rendering them powerless so that they can do nothing while she gains all of their assets and stuff. I'm going to take this Sephora pencil and I don't even know if you can still get this or not. It's called Summer Cruise and I'm putting it in the tight line but I'm not caring if it comes out of there either. <laughs> And then I'm going to take LSD again, and I'm going to come the rest of the way over. And now I'm going to take my E46, and I'm going to get Juggler on it. And let's just come right under my eye with that. And I'm also going to bring that right in my waterline over the top of that Sephora liner because, I mean, it's going to give this something to hang on to. And it will help the longevity of the liner in there. Same thing with below zero. I'm going to take off where I left off, all right underneath LSD. And I hope you enjoyed this look. Let me know if you have these shadows and whether or not you're going to get brave and do this look. I'd love to know. If nothing else, just do it in your house and play. Just play with your makeup and have fun. That's the best thing you can do on cold plus three days. Oh, bother. <laughs> I hope you guys know, always remember how much I love you, care for you, have well wishes for you. You're the best part of the Fritzy family. And if you don't know that, 
Well, you do now. <laughs> if you're not feeling especially blessed, you can get that. You can get that blessed feeling. Just go be a blessing to somebody else. And thank you for always being a blessing to me. And until next time, love you. See ya. Bye. And I'm out. Just wipe my finger off on my pants. We're making a new song now. It's called Wipe It On My Pants. Take the shadow and wipe it on your pants. Wipe it on your pants. My brain's not working yet. Let me get some more coffee while I think what rhymes with pants. Ants. I can't get that rattling. <laughs> it's rattling. It, it's a roaming rattler. Da, da, da. <laughs> and thus we start with the whole fighting with the camera going, uh, excuse me. Delta Dawn, what's that flower you have on? Okay, that made me think of Tanya Tucker, which I don't know. I think Tanya Tucker made that song famous before Helen Reddy. Did you guys like Tanya Tucker? I'm the happiest girl in the whole USA. I know that's not Tanya. That's Donna Fargo, isn't it? My camera just looks at me and goes, Woo! I don't want to film you. Yeah, I have seen better things in my day. Here comes the furnace again. Here you come again. Making bunch of noise in my video. <laughs> I want you to go, but you just... Nah. I know one of them is Urban Decay, and it's LSD. Ooh. But where did Electric Avenue go? Because I need to walk down to Electric Avenue and then I'll take it higher. Uh-huh. That's the way. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I like it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. That's the way. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I like it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. That's the way. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I like it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. That's the way. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I like it. When you wonder why I took a picture of my box, Dial up was how we used to connect to the internet a long time ago. <laughs> and it went something like that. <laughs> it's been so long ago, I bet you don't even remember if I'm right or not. <laughs> and now, from Indianapolis, Indiana, we have Glitzy Britzy on the tongue. <laughs> Need to go eat. <laughs>